Next up, Bo- Borachina. Borachina. What, what is that? His nickname? Or yeah. Is that, okay, because I do. I, I don't know what it means. Yeah, no, neither. I think because um, a lot of the early fights they were actually calling him Borachina the whole yeah, way through. Yeah. Not cause who the fuck's this guy? Okay, so up next we have <laughs> Marvin Vittori against Paolo Costa Borachino. And it just won't the stop. There we go. <laughs> I'm going to take the batteries out of that thing before my kids get home. Yep. <laughs> Paulo Costa. Oh, it's going to be a good one. 13 and one. This is like a. This is like the Special Olympics for for um, UFC. With a look at these two guys. So this is 13. He's 13 and one. Five and one in the UFC. Uh, his early title shot, I believe, was due to his market marketability. Oh god, gotcha. yeah. And they, they couldn't not give him a title shot at that point. I think because that was just after um, – because uh, w- they didn't really have anyone else, did they? No. At that point well, in time. Well, no, there was also didn't. prior beef between Izzy and him. Beef? Tell me about this beef. Oh, they were just calling each other out. Or well, Paolo called him out and then Izzy was like, I've got other people to deal with right now, but you'll be next. And then he called it. He was next. Someone is going to come up here and just I- – I think Israel's good. He's very, He's very, very good. Very good. But I reckon something's brewing. I reckon someone's going to come in and just. I, I just. What, you know, is he? I reckon there's some. Who? I don't know. Izzy is so intelligent. Who? Though, if if, Who? It's, if okay. it's not Rob, if it's not Rob, yeah, it's, it's going to be if Alex Pereira. Bobby Knuckles. No. Could you imagine if Brunson does it? Nah, it won't happen. There's no chance. But I'm just even saying, though man. Brunson's wrestling is great. But if anyone, it's going to be Whitaker or Alex Pereira, the guy that's just. You need to a UFC. big. You need. That's the thing. Like Izzy's fought the big bodies at his weight. It literally took a big body at a different weight to beat him. Because yeah. Jan's not one of the smaller light heavyweights. He, he, he's he, boy, he's quite it? a big boy. He's Polish power. Like he's a, and that when he got on top of him, yeah. that's not 205. That's probably 220, Cat. 215. So he's got 15, 20 pounds yeah. laying on him. Yeah. Who do you reckon is the biggest threat to him? Whitaker? Whitaker. Has Whitaker. Whitaker's the best of the rest. Yeah. Whitaker's so good, isn't he's he? He's so good. I'd love to so see Sean good. Strickland go up against him, though. I feel like Sean would probably get pieced up, but that'd be great. He's, he's constantly Sean against, goes, Sean against Izzy. Izzy, yeah. Yeah. Just constantly going forward, not stopping. Like, that'd be that'd be great. I think someone's just going to catch him. Yep. I think someone's going to... I don't know what. He's going to get Anderson Silver. I reckon Cannoneer. Nah. The Cannoneer, Cannoneer. Is, is way too slow. For Izzy. so garbage. He's not garbage. He's, He's just garbage. so slow. Thanks for respecting my uh, opinions, everyone. That's guy. <laughs> he hasn't been doing that all day. I don't know if you realise that. <laughs> all day, all yeah. year. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> all right. <coughs> so he has him. I don't reckon he's beaten. He hasn't been top fighters. Has not beaten top fighters. Yoel. I, I was, Yoel's record is not great, by the way. Yeah. Um, he's beaten Hall, Johnny Henry. <laughs> have you have you heard why Yoel said he lost against Invalator? Oh, who did he fight? Um, oh, I can't exactly fuck. remember. But Hang so on. Bellator main events aren't five rounds. No, they're three rounds. Yep. Did he believe it was a five rounder? He's come out and gone. Phil Davis. Phil Davis. He's come out and gone. I thought it was a five round fight being a main event. I was anticipating f- two more rounds, and oh. I was going to come out and get him. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. <laughs> what a genius! Yeah, that is pretty good. That is pretty good. He could have had the belt. If he miss, if he made one, that, that one that's hurts. That one yeah. will kill him. That one will kill him. And what he did against Izzy, come on, that was horrible. Like I know that's kind of what he can do. He kind of you know mucks around and taps her out and yeah. tries to outpoint him. But what he doesn't use his wrestling. Oh, we'll never understand that. That's but well, he used it against like Whitaker a bit. And Gold medal wrestler, yeah. and he doesn't want to. Use and he used it against Paulo Costa a little bit, but. They both were kind of interested in standing up. A lot of people thought he won that fight against Costa. That got fight of the night. Yeah, it was a good fucking fight. Do you think? Yeah, it was a it great was fight. Good. Back and forth constantly. Like Costa Costa hits him and he drops for a second, then he fucking drops Costa straight away. It was really good. I was off Yoel after that Tim Kennedy fight. You know when he wouldn't get yeah. off the stall? Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right. So, um, I think... Uh, his undefeated record, his marketability, and the fact he was finishing everyone is the reason he got the, the yeah. title shot. Mm. I thought he should have fought Weidman. You know when he's fought Hall? Yeah. I thought if he can yeah. beat Weidman, um, and I was actually went down a path with Weidman, I don't reckon Weidman will be back. 
I don't, I don't think so either. No, she was talking about he hasn't got hasn't got the right amount of blood flow to the leg, yeah. and it's I think I think he's gonna apparently he had to go back for surgery. He had surgery twice. Yeah, there's something with his blood flow because do you know he broke his thumb in against in against Gastelum, mm. and the bone it didn't get blood to it anymore, and they had to remove it, and they took a part of his hip. And a part of his hips, his thumb. Really? I'm pretty yeah, I'm sure that happened after he beat Gasolum. Yeah, right. Jesus. So, and now he's saying he's having big problems trying to get um uh trying to get blood flow to, to his leg. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't think he'll be back. Ha- hang on. Yeah. There we fucking go. Here we go. <laughs> don't read did my notes. Did, did, did he actually get a hair trans like, is that a thing? Yeah. Oh yeah. Did you see it? No. Okay. I'll, I'll get on to that. I thought you guys knew. That's why I wasn't going to brought it up. No. Um, he's got this with Sasada. He's... Uh, pissed hot. Yeah, no, no. He didn't piss hot. He got done for using IV fluids oh, twice. fuck off. In 2017. But he didn't get the suspension until 2019. It took... He said, what are you Sada doing? Like, what are they, a government agency? Are they a government? They must be government. Uh, it's to work that slow. It's not... It's, it's not you, you, you saw it as the United States Anti-Doping Authority Yeah so it must be a Government department yeah, Really Two years Two years yeah. to get that Suspension through well, not, yeah, yeah. For IV That's fluids true. Imagine they? how good You'd feel If you're, if you're an organisation And you're not under USADA Like That's such a big advantage Oh like, yeah For those guys Yeah Oh, so Costa was supposed to fight Whitaker in April 2021, and then Cannonier. Both of those, I think, would have been brilliant fights. I think both fights. of those guys, Cannonier, maybe. I reckon Whitaker would have done. Whitaker would have done him. Yeah, he got a hair transplant in June. Tw- you don't. I've never heard this. I can. Oh, jeez. I remember seeing photos of him starting to bold. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, no, no, he came out. He put it all on his Instagram and stuff. Like he was quite open with it. No, I don't follow him on Instagram. And whatnot. I do, but I don't. I don't. Read any of the things he posts because they're never in English. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I did see this. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, eh? So he's losing his hair. Yeah, right. So he did it. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Oh, you know, a side effect of steroids is the hair loss. Is it? I don't know. I've never <laughs> been so. on roids. I'm losing my fucking crop. How do they he do it? He still looks like a specimen while bold, though. Like, <laughs> he could have just rocked that. Yeah. Maybe it's a vanity thing for him, yeah. but um, yeah. So he's he's obviously done it. Oh. Um, yeah, that can't be good. But oh, the timing is what got me with it here. So he did that. That video of him getting it done in was in June twenty twenty one. June, and he cancelled his April and August fight. Yeah. So he okay, understandable August, but the April one weird. Mm. Maybe had it planned. I don't know. Maybe to go under. Because I don't know if it's major surgery. I don't know. Oh, well, Maybe he's I need to get bum anyway. Out. Don't worry about him. Jesus, when he fights, have you seen? He holds his hands like that. He's almost like yeah. a Romero kind of. Mm. Like yeah, that. against Izzy, his body shots are lethal. Yeah, he would hit the body more than he hits the head. Yeah, he is just and outstanding the thing with him as well. That I find no one ever mentions is obviously we know how powerful he is, right. but he's fast, man. His hands are fast, oh, yeah. like. Faster than you'd expect looking at him, you know? How old is he? He's only 30. Yeah. I don't know. He's he's good. Those body shots. I was watching some highlights. Those body shots are just absolutely vicious. Yeah. And as soon as the person dro- uh, drops their hands, he'll just light up the face. Yeah. His, that beat down of Johnny Hendricks was pretty sad. Yeah. That was, a, that was his debut, wasn't it? Against Johnny Hendricks? Yeah. I don't think it was. Uh, no, he debuted against... Oh. Ba- oh, I can't even pronounce that name. No, oh, no, that one there against Gareth McLean. Gareth, Mc- yeah, Jesus. Yeah. So everything. So he's only gone to the cards once. That's crazy, and that was against Yoel. Yoel, fire in the night. Yep. Um, he is up against. Do you want to take this one, Alec? Martin Vittori. <laughs> Marvin. Martin Vittori. Marvin was an <laughs> Italian. Italian. Name. <laughs> yeah. Have you seen? Do you know he has an apparel? Line? He does my fucking head in. Martin Vittori. Oh, I can't stand him. Why do you like Marvin? Oh, he came he's out one recently. Of us. He came out recently and he said... He's not, he's not a smart man. He said, yeah, uh, listen, I lost against Izzy because he, he fought smart, but I'm still better than him. 
And I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. He bro. still reckons he, he won both those fights. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's the other thing. The reaction after those fights. How do you think you won that second fight? The first one I can understand. Even, even, the, fir- even the, first the first one's one. closer. Yeah. The second one was... Uh, yeah. <laughs> nah, brother. Nah, it, he does my head in. I he pissed hot. It. He's he did. A- he did piss hot in 2019 for Osterine. Osterine, we looked up that. Those yeah. kind of things. Uh, his apparel brand is called the Italian Dream Apparel. No, so I, before I looked at it, I was so hoping it was just going to be the full. I thought I was hoping it was going to be like like tracksuits, like full <laughs> Italian stuff. I, yeah, it's, I actually thought, but it's not. It's 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 it looks like. See there, he looks like a good looking man there. Yeah. See, is it shop in English? Is it as good as like the bad OG? Um, oh, what was that? Tap out t shirt. Oh, oh those out. ones. Jesus. Or oh, affliction. Uh, no, no. It, it was all this stuff is just is just him. It's just someone's got. Um, yeah, right. Someone's just. Oh, it's got, decent. Oh, it's it's, it's not just, bad. Someone's just got a. Someone, I'd wear that Italian dream t shirt. Someone has got like a. a Stay dangerous. Dye sublimation printer or something saying, yeah, I'm going to slap. I'm going to get this $2 t shirt, slap a logo on it, and sell it for 29 euro. Yeah. That's all it is. I was, I was really hoping for more. I was hoping it was going to be uh, something. He's got, he's got fightwear. I was, I was hoping it was going to be more. So that's his yeah, logo. Yeah, Team Vittori. I don't know if I'd pay hundred bucks for that. No, I'm good, thanks. That looks like one of the um, what's the Avenger or is it Avenger or what's the name of that guy with the headgear on? Blakey. I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. Well, I don't watch that stuff. But that looks like that. Well, he asked, you answered. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, he's snappy today. Ah, uh, where is he? So he fights. I was to say he fights without consideration, which is good because both of them are just going to come in. I think he doesn't care hit. about getting They're gonna hit. They're going to come in and hit. They're both jacked. As I found, could they drop down? Could they drop down to Walter Wayne? Nah, because Borachino comes from being a bodybuilder. He was an old bodybuilder, I'm pretty sure. That's a lot of muscle to use. Steroids. Steroids. Oh, you reckon? 100%. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Yo Romero. Fuck it. The fact that people are still pissing hot just proves that it's like the Olympics. If, if you knew you were going to get caught, you just wouldn't do it. Everyone would just think yeah. that. Like two of the Blokes will get you away with it, so that's why they do it. Yeah. And you're just unlucky. Because <laughs> they, only, they only will do you around competition times, and then you've got to figure out how long it's going to take to get out of your system. Mm-hmm. Then if you're unlucky to get an out of, out of competition test, which is fucking rare. Yeah. Picograms. <laughs> it's not what John Jones did. Yeah, that's what he did. If, he, if, if he's still on roids, I don't know, but he... A hundred percent was at some stage. You can't, yeah, you can't oh, God, yeah. doubt that. At he all. was a bodybuilder, yeah. so it's. Do they take him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what really? <laughs> you shut your mouth. I don't know. I reckon, but then again, I mean, if they did drop down to welterweight, nah, no, nah, they wouldn't. If he, d- <laughs> if he, <laughs> fucking, dro- if either of them drop down to welterweight, there's r- they'd have a hard time. There's really no great fight. Oh. Like, like I mean, Gil- even Gilbert Burns, Gilbert Burns against probably Costa would be good mm-hmm. at that weight. But then it's still Gilbert Burns. He doesn't have the following. Yeah. And I don't know. Could could they just go over the top, jacked, and go up? Or are they too short? Are they both they about six up. foot? What's no. what's Costa? Costa six. I'm pretty sure um, he's six as well. The dream is, six. yeah. The dream. <laughs> six foot. Both six foot. <laughs> I don't know. There's no footage of them. Who do you reckon? Against go? Marvin and Paolo? I'm, yep. going, I'm going Costa all day. And he's the underdog. Is he? Let's have a look at some odds. Yeah, he's paying 210, I think it was. I'm going. I'm 225. going. 220 for Jesus. Hang on. Let's have a look at these markets. What are they expecting? They're expecting, a KO, expecting someone to KO someone, aren't they? I'm I'm tipping. They're expecting Vittorio I'm tipping points. Vittori, obviously, because Italian. But also, I think. I think the one thing about Polo Costa is he lacks fight experience. He hasn't had many fights. He hasn't had many top fights against top fighters. I just worry that if he if he does panic and whatnot, or you know, if he gets pressured, uh, no, Costa, yeah, if he does get pressured and things aren't going his way, because that's the thing, like all his fights kind of went his way until he lost to Izzy. Mm. Well, that what, UL fight didn't really. The UL fight well. went back and forth, but. Yoel was himself an amazing fighter, but Yoel in that fight was fucking good. Like, I just, aggressive. I just, that's the Yoel we want. Yeah, 
I just question if Paolo can can win, really. Yeah. If he's got the heart. And if he's got the fight IQ, which Marvin doesn't really have. <laughs> uh, he doesn't have any say. IQ. But no, Marvin yeah. doesn't have it. But if Marvin's coming at him, yeah. does Paolo Costa have the, the IQ thing, to get around that? Yeah. The thing with Marvin, though, like in that Izzy fight, right, the times where he actually decided to, okay, clinch up, get him against the fence and try to wrestle, he, he held him there, did nothing, and then would break it. I was like, you're not even attempting to wrestle here. This is ridiculous. Mm. Also, that photo of him with his uh, his shorts the other way around. Oh, way around, how funny is that? That is so funny. What is he wrong looks with him? like he looks so dumb in that photo. Wearing shorts the wrong way. It's, yeah. right. it's yeah. unreal. What was Look how thinking? dumb he looks. It's so funny. No, we've, we've all been there. We've all put our shorts on the wrong way. <laughs> but like the look on his face with with that. I've done, I've done a full I've done a full day work with me jockeys on the wrong way. <laughs> and I'm going, oh, did I get bigger? You're, you sometimes Creeper you forget to put them on, don't you? Oh god, yeah. Yeah, you like. To oh, that's a choice. That's an active choice. Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's not a dry forget. clean in that seat. <laughs> Who are we going? Paula Costa. Marvin. I'm going Costa on this one. Oh, you uh, you delusional. You're fucking. Delusional. All right, so for me at the toe, I'm going to go first today. I'm going Costa, Ricky Glenn, the underdog, Jessica Rose, Wool Choi, Dwight Grant, and Nikolai. I'm going Marvin, Grant Dawson, Edwards, Wu Choi, Grant, and Nikolai. I have got Costa, Grant Dawson, Jocelyn Edwards, Choi, Dwight Grant, and Nikolai. There are some different opinions there. Mm. And mine are right, yours are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. You're delusional. You are if you think you're delusional. So? All right, that's it. Jesus Christ. Two hours 17. Nice to see we're keeping it short as usual. Um, that's it. Anything more? Magic Spoon? Our amazing Magic. sponsors, Magic Spoon. We don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> have that well, that's right. Come we on, man. Manifest it. Manifest it. <laughs> Sports bet, Sports magic bet. spoon. That's about it. All right. Yeah. So we're done. Um, yep. Next week. Oh, after this one, it gets juicy. Again, it gets juicy. It? We've Finally. got two weeks of juice. Yes. Yes. Juice. We've had. I mean, the main ones. event's pretty juicy in this in this week's card. It is quite good. It's bro, it's at four a.m. though. What this weekend? Mm. Oh, Jesus Christ! Why are they doing it to us? All right. So this weekend, next weekend, we got two sixty seven and then two sixty eight back to back, back to back pay per views. What I like. All right. So excited. Thanks, everyone, and we will see. Like and subscribe. We should say that at the start. Yeah, we, we should. Mm. Okay, I'll edit this bit in. Welcome, everyone. Like and subscribe. There we go. I'll put that at the start. <laughs> I won't put that at the start. I can't be fucked. All right. No, that's, that's it. Done. Thank you. God bless. Thanks. <laughs>